We finally have a firm date that we can circle on the calendar that might suggest when Rockstar Games will give us new information, details, possibly screenshots, and a second trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. And this news actually comes from Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two Interactive, which they have been in the news cycle quite a bit over the last couple of days due to the cuts and the layoffs, getting rid of 5% of their staff to save millions of dollars. It's not the best news, but today, on April 18th, 2024, they announced that Take-Two Interactive is set to report their fourth quarter and fiscal year 2024 results on Thursday, May 16th, 2024. Going on to say, Take-Two Interactive Software, Inc. today announced that it has plans to report financial results for its fourth quarter and fiscal year 2024, which ended March 31st, 2024, after the market closed on Thursday, May 16th, 2024. The company plans to hold a conference call to discuss its results at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, which can be accessed by dialing the phone number. A live listen-in only webcast and a replay of the call will be available at Take-Two Games' website. So for those of you guys that are new to the channel or might not understand why this is important, it's because Take-Two Interactive is the parent company of Rockstar Games. And Rockstar Games works hand-in-hand -hand with Take-Two Interactive. And usually around these earnings calls, that's when Rockstar Games will drop big news because it then gives their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, the opportunity to actually talk about it. Take-Two Interactive themselves won't make announcements that are meant for Rockstar Games. They might give us little nuggets, hints, or clues like what they might expect or their excitement for the future or things that they anticipate. But as far as actually delivering new information and details about a title, that has to come from Rockstar Games. But Rockstar Games often deliver that news right around when these earnings calls are set to occur. Not only have they done this in the past, but they also did this with the official announcement of Grand Theft Auto 6 that happened at the end of November with the trailer coming in the beginning of December. So they basically aligned that right when Take-Two Interactive had their earnings call last. And what's going to be interesting about this is this is the first earnings call to occur after the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer has been out, and now months after there has been no news from Rockstar since. So that is the date that we can all now circle on our calendars, Thursday, May 16th, and I would say that the clock starts now. Pretty much any time from today, Thursday, April 18th, 2024, to May 16th, 2024, we need to be on high alert because Rockstar could drop information at any time. I would say the closer we get to that May 16th date, probably the better, but we know something around that date will be announced. And we can just only hope that whatever is announced has to do with GTA 6. Yes, Rockstar has promised that there is going to be a big GTA Online Summer DLC, which might actually have some coincision with GTA 6, Maybe there's some sort of cross-promotion treasure hunt that happens. In case you guys weren't around for that, when Rockstar was promoting Red Dead Redemption 2, they did two treasure hunts in Grand Theft Auto Online. One of them was for like a gold double action revolver, and the other one was for a stone hatchet. And if you found those treasure hunts, not only would you get the reward in GTA Online, but it would also give you access to it when RDR2 came out. So the same thing could happen again for Grand Theft Auto 6. But either way, this is great news. And this is, again, just the date we all need to circle on our calendars for when we should expect Rockstar to give us more information. And of course, when that information does arrive, I will cover it here on the channel. And remember that this is a big one because not only are they reporting on their fourth quarter results, they're also reporting on the entire fiscal year of 2024 and its results. So it's going to be a big, big conference. We're going to hear from the likes of Strauss Zelnick, the CEO and chairman, as well as the other executives at Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two Interactive. So hopefully this is a good opportunity. So I'm excited to see what happens really over the next 30 days or so. And hopefully in the next month, we get some new details and information on Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, sort of going back to some of the things we were talking about the other day about all the layoffs and the bad news surrounding Take-Two Interactive, we actually have a little bit of good news in terms of the Rockstar Games and GTA 6 front because that was sort of the big question. How was this going to impact Grand Theft Auto 6? Was there going to be a delay? Was it going to be canceled entirely in a worst case scenario? No, that doesn't seem very likely. 
but that's still where people went. Well, Mike Straw, who is a senior editor for Insider Gaming, we've actually talked about some of his information in the past, gave us a little bit of good news surrounding the layoffs that have actually happened. Now, not good news in general, but good news for the Rockstar Games and GTA 6 front. So he ended up saying this, Take two layoffs. I can confirm that people from WWE 2K, Top Spin 2K, and the in development NFL 2K game have been let go. Not sure on the full numbers, but those teams have definitely seen layoffs. So from what Mike Straw is saying, it seems to be that a lot of the layoffs were on some of the titles that maybe weren't the biggest revenue generators or necessarily weren't even released yet. I know that Top Spin 2K, that isn't out yet. And the in-development, obviously, NFL game, that certainly wasn't released. So maybe it was titles that were a little bit less further along than, let's say, the big ones like Grand Theft Auto 6, etc. Now, there was a little bit more follow-up to that as well. He went on to say marketing, social, and next maker programs were all hit. So it seems like those departments, unfortunately, were ones that also saw a number of layoffs and a reduction in force. And Mike Straw even specifically answered the question on if this was going to impact Rockstar and GTA 6. As we heard from Hendrick at Radio Los Santo, do you think development of GTA 6 is in danger and the planned release in 2025 is in danger? With Mike Straw saying, no, everything that I know right now is that it's business as usual for GTA slash Rockstar. So that right there is the good news we were looking for. As unfortunate as everything is with these layoffs and these cuts, it doesn't look like Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto 6 is impacted here. So hopefully on this earnings call, Take-Two Interactive is able to explain a lot what happened and why with the cuts and layoffs. Maybe they'll even be able to address the situation with Rockstar Games and their employees having to return to the office full time and no longer being able to utilize the work from home or hybrid strategy that began in the pandemic. That's sort of an interesting thing that even though it wasn't Take-Two Interactive specifically, also hasn't been good news for the brand. And most importantly, hopefully they have the chance to address or even talk about some Grand Theft Auto 6 stuff. If Rockstar kind of wants to follow the same pattern they did with GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, it's very likely not going to be the second trailer. That typically comes about uh, a year or around 11 to 10 months after the first one, but it might be new screenshots. It might be the ability to pre-order the game or more details on the world of Vice City and the state of Leonida. Just details like that would be awesome, but that's kind of where I want to leave things off for you guys. Now that we know that May 16th, 2024, is the date of the earnings call. Number one, when do you expect we're going to hear information from Rockstar Games about GTA 6? And two, what do you think that information is going to be? Do you think they're going to surprise us with a trailer? Do you think they'll give us the release date? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.